What's up Bass Nation? Today we're going to put some talons on the Triton. Uh, I got 15 foot talons. Got two of them. I'm going to do a video on how to install one of them um, from start to finish. Got the jack plate uh, mounting bracket here and the 15 foot silver talon there. So we'll walk you through the process. Alright, so got everything unboxed on the first pole. Sounded like I was uh, from Boston there for a minute. Unboxed. Uh, so I got everything unboxed. The Minn Kota, three bags of screws, and the three different mounting brackets that came in the kit. Um, and as the instructions say, there's supposed to be three bags of screws and three brackets. So we're going to get to um, releasing the motor mount mounts. On my motor mount, so on my motor mount I have three bolts on each side. Um, so we're going to unscrew one screw at a time and then mount this bracket right there. All right, so got the uh, first part of the mounting bracket for the jack plate mounted on. Um, it only came with two screws. I'm gonna run and buy an additional screw for the other spot of the jack plate um, that's long enough. It's, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily needed, but my old jack plate had it in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a third one in there for safety. All right, so I've got the three brackets on the boat. Now I've got to take the bracket off the Minn Kota and then mount it to this bracket, get everything plumbed up and squared up the way I want. These aren't tight yet because I've got to adjust uh, to get the right spacing from the, the boat and get it all level the way I want, and then we'll mount the pole to it. All right, so uh, tightened down all my bolts, got everything level to the transom. Um, got this four inches, four or five inches up here from the bottom and four inches here, a little over four inches, a little over five from the bottom of the transom. Um, this is what a 15 foot pole looks like on the boat. It's a little taller than the motor, about a good foot and a half, two foot taller than the motor. One of these days I'll buy the swing bracket to where I can swing them forward. Um, actually, I just need the swing attachment for here, I believe. And then I'll be able to swing them forward. It's just a quick nut. Um, other than that, looks pretty good. Just got to wire them up and put the other one on. All right, so got them both installed. Um, and they are operational. 15-foot talons. All right, so just got my um, remote, or all my remotes paired. So the key to this is you press the up and down at the same time until all these lights start flashing. And then you do the same thing on the talons. Um, so I've got them both paired. We're going to hit the down button twice. They're both down. Hit the up button once. They both go up. If you wanted to do one side or the other, you just change the remote settings. Change it to the other side. Oops, I didn't change it, sorry. Let's try that again. There we go, change it to the other side. I don't really see me ever not deploying both, so I'm gonna leave it on both. Both down, both up. We'll now be able to anchor in anything less than 15 feet. the finalized look and appearance of the talons. I just got to tuck away my wires and tape them off. But I think the silver ended up going really well with my boat. Uh, I'm glad they were out of stock on the red. Might have looked silly. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. These are the lights that come standard on the Minn Kota talons.